Let's talk about Donald Trump and rape because it's Monday and it seems like a good topic. We've been telling you about the Jane Doe who filed three federal complaints about Donald Trump against Donald Trump for alleged child rape in connection with a party that she attended involving not only Donald Trump, but also Jeffrey Epstein. And this allegedly happened back in 1994. The victim uh, the alleged victim was 13 years old up at the time. And we have not learned that much about the victim until now. We now know that the accuser is Katie Johnson. The most recent federal filing includes three affidavits, one from Katie Johnson herself, previously known to us as Jane Doe, plus two more, an eyewitness named Tiffany Doe and also a Joan Doe, a classmate of Johnson's back from 1994. Now, Johnson's story has been the same this entire time throughout all of these court proceedings. She recalled being approached by Tiffany, who allegedly worked for Jeffrey Epstein at the time. Uh, Tiffany invited Katie Johnson, who was then an aspiring model, to an event in Epstein's home to get to know people and maybe get a modeling job. And throughout the summer of 1994, the lawsuit alleges that Johnson endured, quote, savage sexual attacks by both Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. I, I have video testimony I'm going to play for you. I want to warn you, it is disturbing. Uh, you will notice that Johnson's voice has been altered and her face has been blurred. Uh, notwithstanding that, th this is disturbing. I am again giving you the opportunity to skip past this or to come back in about a minute and a half. Let's listen to Ms. Johnson here. Second time that I saw Mr. Trump um, was same scenario. He was uh, on looking at an orgy and uh, Tiffany came over to me and, and said that Donald, Donald Trump had requested that I perform oral sex on him. Um, he came in and I was basically tied to a bed um, with pantyhose. Uh, and he tied me and it was, it was so tight I could, it, it hurt to even like, lay there and I tried to you know, try to say something and it was like, you know, and he just, you know, shut up, you know, you know, shut up bitch, you know, this is, it was basically like he was, he was being really, really rough and, and, and I started to get scared and, and he was, you know, basically like ripping my clothes off and, and I was actually really, I started, I got freaked out and just turned into this animal. I was like a completely different, um, completely different person. I couldn't do anything about it. And... <clears throat> He ripped off all my clothes and he started to basically have sex with me and I was screaming because I'd never had sex before. It was my first time. And he yeah appalling and dreadful. Now, of course, Donald Trump has denied Johnson's claim since April. Trump representatives have said that he and Epstein barely even knew each other. But the Daily Beast reports that they were actually regularly seen together during the 1990s. And as I told you last week or the week before, a federal judge in New York has ordered a hearing in December about this case. This story, Pat, sort of proves that the entire the media is out to get Trump theory is total BS, because if corporate media wanted to take down Trump, they would be covering this story and they would have been covering this story for months. Instead, yeah, they talk about the sexual assault allegations. This is very disturbing video that is now out there and it's not getting corporate media coverage. Clearly, media doesn't have it that much out for Trump because they'd be talking about this if they did. And maybe they're not covering it because it seems unlikely. But when you combine all of the sexual assault allegations, the fact that in court proceedings, one of his ex-wives testified that, yes, indeed, Trump did rape her yeah. and that he would walk around dressing rooms of Miss Teen USA's young, girls as young as 15 years old. You put right. that all together. This isn't far fetched at all. It's all the same story. I mean, all of the different pieces that we've heard all tell the exact same story. And if Donald Trump wins on November 8th, on December 16th, the president elect will be the accused in a child rape trial. Think about that for a session for a second.
Gamefly is sort of like Netflix for video games. They have over 8,000 new and classic games for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, Wii, and a bunch of other platforms. And you can play as many games as you want for one monthly fee. And if you find some games you want to keep, you can buy them for a low used price. There's never any due dates or late fees. And our audience can get a free 30-day trial at GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS. The games are shipped directly to you with return envelopes included. There's no contracts, and you can rent games through the mobile app. Get the free 30-day trial for the David Pakman Show audience and support our show by going to GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS.